please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Well, India's biggest mortgage lender, HDFC, has announced fundraising plans. So, important stock to keep in focus in today's trading session. Abhishek uh, Kothari is here with the details this morning. Abhishek, hi. Good morning, Ekta. So, they have approved a fundraising of 11,100 crores by equity issuance to various investors. So, SDFC Bank, uh, SDFC Limited's board has also approved another uh, round of fundraising of about 1,900 crores via QIP. So, in total, they are looking to raise about 13,000 crores. Now, they will issue 6.4 crore shares to these investors. Investors include the name of, uh, name of Waverly, Omers, uh, Silverview, Ajim, Premji Trust, etc. Now, what this fundraising does on the equity and the book value. So equity will get diluted by 4% because the issue price is at about 1720 odd rupees and the book value will increase by around 19% from FI17 levels. What are the objectives of this fundraising? So the clear-cut objective is to participate in the SDFC Bank's QIP. So out of this 11,100 or the total 13,000 crores, about 8,500 crore will be used in participating in the SDFC Bank's QIP. They are also exploring uh, inorganic opportunities in the health insurance sector, while not to forget that opportunities in the acquisition and resolution of stressed asset in the real estate is also on their radar. Back to you. All right, Abhishek, and congratulations. You were on top of that story with Nisha all of last mm -hmm. week. That's Capital First as well as IDFC Bank, and you sounded very confident. So congrats on that front. I'm sure the viewers as well have taken notes. Superb going. Okay, all right, let's move on then. In fact, uh, sticking with what uh, Abhishek told us in terms of HDFC, we spoke to KK Mistri, the vice chairman and CEO of HDFC. Let's listen in to what he had to say. Sometime in December, our board had met and we had announced at that time that we were looking to raise 13,000 crores. A bulk of that 13,000 crores was to be raised in Bosporp, which was being raised, was planned to be invested in HDFC Bank, 8,500 crores was to be invested in HDFC Bank. Then we had also said at that time that we need some capital for our foray into health insurance because we believe that the health insurance market in India is huge and affords massive opportunities and we could look at both organic or inorganic growth in that. We had also said that we would look at creating some kind of a foray into a stressed asset, stressed real estate, real estate access uh, fund it could be either a fund structure or it could be a company structure. There again, it's our core competence. We understand real estate. We know that there are several projects in India, real estate projects, housing projects, which are stuck because the developer has not been able to complete the project. And we could, with our expertise on real estate, be able to acquire those projects in an incomplete stage, get a good developer to complete the construction, and then, and then, uh, give it the HDFC brand and uh, sell it in the market at a higher price. So these, this was the reason why we said we would raise capital. We were planning to raise capital. 